All right, what's up, world? That makes what I like. Let's do another buying power short. Question just came in. On this discussion about nationhood within a nation, the one I just posted in response to a question that came in about a question in response to the discussion I just had with Coco about Walter Rodney, et cetera, and so forth. Wouldn't sovereignty tie into the political agenda for black and poor people you've spoken about? And if achieved, wouldn't black spending or buying power be relevant then for a developing nation? Thank you. Great question. Thank you for sending it in. And let me give it a quick answer. So yes, the short answer, of course, is that sovereignty for black and poor people is, of course, on the agenda for for me, for my work, for our platform, et cetera, and so forth. But the second part of the question, wouldn't black spending or buying power be relevant then for a developing nation? This is sort of the crux of my point about it being a myth. So the short answer is no, in the sense that, remember, buying power Purchasing power, spending power are advertising and marketing corporate measurements of what pockets of society have available to spend on products they do not own, cannot manufacture, and do not benefit from the wealth in terms of, do not benefit in terms of the wealth that's created from all of that. So this idea that the one point whatever trillion dollars in black buying power could be used or could be made relevant to the sovereignty of a black nation is fallacy, is the point I'm getting at. Whatever sovereignty black people or any other community would actually hope to have cannot be based on a marketing or advertising mythology, and it cannot be based on a measurement of what wealth a community can create for someone else. So that's why I'm saying I'm only advocating that we get past this mythology. The real questions about sovereignty, political power, et cetera, and so forth can only come in political organization and in discussion and then from analyses that have emerged or are emergent or will come from ideas that are themselves above and beyond buying power. So I'm mostly just simply saying that whatever solutions are to come cannot be based on, cannot include fantasy fallacy, mythology. They must be based on science, data, and what material resources and power people actually have. And that really is only in the force developed from political organization.